Hello, everyone. Today we are going to talk about an adventure fantasy called The Invisible Boy from 2014. A lot of interesting things are waiting for you. At the beginning of the movie, we see a boy named Michel riding his bike to his school in Trieste, Italy. He has a 50 euro bill with which he plans to buy a costume for a party. At school, he sits at a desk with a girl he has a crush on. Her name is Stella. Their lesson is interrupted by a police officer named Giovanna, who is Michel's mother. She has come to find out about the student's disappearance. Giovanna asks the class to inform the police if they hear anything about the missing student. As she leaves, Michael's nose starts to bleed and he runs to the restroom. His abusers, who have been bothering him for a long time, threaten that he will give them all his money. He returns home, upset by the incident. He takes out a few pennies he has saved and decides to buy one thing with them. Then Michelle walks into a rusty looking shop and asks for a superhero costume. The seller gives him a tight jumpsuit and a lousy cape. He claims that it is a Chinese superhero costume. Michelle is not happy with the costume, but buys it anyway. When Giovanna comes home from work, she sees that Michelle refuses to go to the party in the costume because he thinks it looks ridiculous. She assures him that he looks good and sends him to the party. There, Michelle has fun and even talks to his beloved Stella. But then his abusers turn on a video of Stella walking down the street. They claim that the video was found on Michelle's phone and that he was stalking Stella. Confused, said, Michelle runs to the bathroom and locks himself in. All his classmates are knocking on the door from outside and asking him to open it. Michelle is frustrated and wishes he could turn invisible before turning off the light. In the next scene, we see him jumping out of the bathroom window and returning home. The next morning, Michelle wakes up to his dog barking at him. He ignores it and goes to the bathroom to brush his teeth. When he looks in the mirror, Michelle is shocked to see only a robe and a toothbrush. His body is not visible in the mirror. Michelle runs out and takes off the robe. At this moment, his mother comes in and completely ignores the boy, proving that only Michelle can see himself. When she starts to look around, Michelle quickly writes on a piece of paper that he left for school early. Michelle quickly writes on a piece of paper that he left for school early and puts it on the bed. Giovanna reads it and ignores it. When she leaves the room, she calls Michelle on his phone. An invisible Michelle answers and tells her that he is fine. Not knowing what to do next, he changes into long-sleeved clothes. Covering all parts of his body, he goes to school and watches Stella from afar. Michelle notices his bully and plans to teach him a lesson for bothering him so much. He takes off his clothes and enters the school naked and invisible. During class, he picks up the bully's paintball gun and uses it against the teacher, forcing the teacher to suspend the bully from class. Michelle then goes to the girls' locker room and watches them undress. Suddenly, a towel falls on him, and his silhouette becomes obvious to everyone. At this point, his powers begin to fade and he becomes visible again. The girls scream when they see Michelle naked under the towel. The next day, Michelle is in his classroom, where a psychologist named Bazili is giving a lecture on adolescent mental health. Two of Michelle's classmates have run away from home in the past month, so he thinks it's important to understand how teenagers think. As Michelle listens to the lecture, his hands start to glow and suddenly disappear. Fortunately, the class is over and he runs out before anyone notices his disappearance. He hurries home covering all parts of his body and sees his younger sister, Candela, in his room. Michelle asks her to go downstairs and face the wall. Suspecting something, Candela opens and closes the door, pretending to leave. Michelle does not turn around to check and starts to undress. When he turns around, Candela screams in fright because she sees that her brother is invisible. Michelle reassures her and tells her that his suit has given him superpowers. Meanwhile, at the police station, psychiatrist Basil works with Giovanna to investigate the children's disappearance. Giovanna insists that the children could have been kidnapped, but Basile argues that they are just rebelling, which is normal for their age. When Giovanna returns home, Michelle is still invisible. Giovanna talks to someone on the phone and tells them that Michelle has been adopted. Surprised and hurt, Michelle leaves the house to go to the nearby swing set. While he's swinging, Stella comes in and thinks that Michelle is a ghost. She doesn't seem to be scared and instead asks him to be her friend. He draws a smiling face in the sand to communicate with her. They decide to meet again. After Stella leaves, Michelle sees a man nearby looking at him, even though he is invisible. The man walks away, leaning on a stick, showing that he is blind. At night, Michelle comes to Stella's house. Stella is happy to have found an invisible friend. They kiss, but at that moment, Michelle's strength begins to weaken. He runs away before Stella can see his face. Later, Stella was alone in a gymnastics class when a needle was stuck in her back. She falls down and loses consciousness. Elsewhere, Michelle decides to tell Stella that he was an invisible boy. He goes to her gymnastics class with his dog. When he reaches the building, he sees a masked man carrying Stella. Michelle and his dog attack the man. However, the man manages to escape with the girl. Later, the police arrive at the scene. They find out that the missing children did not run away, but were kidnapped. Stella wakes up in a strange room with her heed attached to several wires. There she is interrogated by psychiatrist Basili. 
it turns out that he was the one who kidnapped the children. They conduct several tests on the girl and send her to a cell. Her two friends who disappeared before her are also sent there. The next day, Michelle is standing alone on a nearby beach when the blind man he saw the day before suddenly appears in front of him. The man answers all of Michelle's questions before he can even ask them. He seems to be a mind reader. When Michelle asks him who he is, the man answers that his name is Andrej and he is Michelle's father. The boy does not believe Andrej and accuses him of lying. Then Andrej starts telling his story. He was an ordinary man from a small town in Russia until a devastating nuclear explosion occurred in the town. The radiation killed many people and changed others forever. It caused a mutation in their DNA, giving them unique superhuman abilities such as flight, telepathy, invisibility, and more. These people were called special and brought to a military camp called Division to be used as weapons. The Division used them beyond their capabilities. The more energy they used, the weaker they became. Another side effect was that they were all infertile, except for Andrej and Michelle's mother. So it was impossible to produce new special children. They had Michelle, who was the first special child. But as soon as he was born, he was taken away. Then the parents decided to escape with Michelle, and they succeeded. But the men from the division were not going to give up. They pursued the couple to get the child back. Michelle's father had the ability to read people's minds, and his mother had the ability to be invisible. Andre managed to escape with Michelle, but his wife was killed by the division. Andrej knew that it was not safe for Michelle to be with him, so he put him in front of Giovanna's door, reading her thoughts and confirming that she was a good person. Now people from the unit have found out that a special child lives in the city, so they kidnap children and test them to see if they are special. Hearing about his true origin, Michelle is shocked. The boy almost doesn't believe it, but Andrej says they don't have much time to talk because the man sitting next to him thinks Andrej is suspicious and has already called the police. Andrej gives Michelle a suit that becomes invisible with his body. Then he erases the memory of the man who suspected something and leaves. Soon the police arrive with Basili. Giovanna tells him that Michelle has been adopted and this makes Basili believe that he might be a special child. He offers to take Michelle home. When they arrive home, Michelle notices that Basili has a wound on his arm, exactly where his dog bit Stella's kidnapper. He looks at the man suspiciously and tries to run away. It turns out that Basili has locked all the doors and is planning to kidnap him. Michelle runs into the room and takes off his clothes, becoming invisible. He manages to escape, but Basili pursues him. When they go outside, Michelle sees his abuser, Ivan, on a bicycle. He gets on the back seat and asks him to leave quickly. Nervous Ivan complies with his request. When they reach a safe place, Michelle opens up to Ivan and tells him everything about the kidnapping of their classmates. Meanwhile, Stella and her friends see a vent in the ceiling. They climb on top of each other and Stella manages to get out. Hiding from the guards, she climbs up the tower and into the spotlight. Believing that her invisible friend will find them, she draws a smiling face on the object and raises it to the sky. Michelle sees this and realizes that Stella is trying to give him a hint. He and Ivan go to get the lantern, but as soon as they get there, Stella is grabbed by the guards. Ivan causes an electrical malfunction with his paintball gun and the invisible Michelle goes inside. He sees Vasily and his men watching Giovanna and Andrej, who have teamed up to look for Michele. He goes further in and knocks out the guard. At gunpoint, he forces the other guard to open the cell where Stella and the other prisoners are being held. After pulling them out and trapping the guards, Michelle shows himself to his friends, who are amazed. The boys want to run away, but Stella insists that they must save the old man she saw locked in another room. She and Michelle go to rescue the old man, but Stella takes him to the villains and pulls a gun on Michelle. Suddenly, she faints and the old man standing behind her begins to speak. It turns out that he has the power of mind control. He controls Basil and Stella to bring Michelle here. Then he launches a submarine and puts Michelle and Stella in it. The men take them out to sea. At this time, Andrej and Giovanna arrive at the site and meet with Ivan. The building is about to explode in a few seconds. They quickly rescue the two kidnapped children and Vassal from inside. Andrej reads Vasily's thoughts and realizes that someone has been controlling him. They quickly flee the building, which immediately explodes. Michelle discovers the power of telekinesis and begins to destroy everything. Using his powers, he manages to destroy people and save himself and Stella. They finally return to the shore, where many people are waiting for them. Michelle becomes invisible in front of them, demonstrating his power. Andre tells Michelle that they will have to erase all their memories because the division will come for them again. Michelle agrees and kisses Stella for the last time. Andre tells Michelle that he will be back and leaves, erasing everyone's memories. After that, everyone returns to their normal lives. The movie takes us somewhere in Russia. Michelle's mother, who was thought to be dead, turned out to be only wounded in battle. She later won the division and is now in charge of it. In fact, it was she who sent those people to take Michelle to her. Now the woman is against all the normal people who look at those special as freaks. 
Finally, the guard tells her that they have found Michelle's twin sister, named Natasha. Footage from the past shows us that Andrej escaped with the two children. The film ends when a guard tells Michelle's mother that Natasha is somewhere in Morocco, hinting at a sequel. If you have watched the video so far, you should know that I'm happy to have viewers like you. Thank you for watching to the end. Subscribe to the channel and follow the news. Oleha Recapped was with you. See you soon.